What's up everybody? <laughs> it was kind of a weird intro. What is up everyone? Um, today I'm back with the video. I have a Lana Del Rey special video that I have for you, which uh, I, I recommended a long time ago when I first started doing Lana Del Rey reactions. Um, I suggested some unreleased songs because like I said, I wanted to start up and reboot like a series of just uh, unreleased songs from Lana Del Rey. So this is kind of going to be interesting. This is Pawn Shop Blues. Also, I want to let you guys know before we get straight into this reaction. Um, I actually made a Twitter account, which is actually for the first time. I've had a Twitter account before a long, long time ago when I was just about 12 or 13 years old and I had no use for it. That was back when, you know, back when I didn't know what I was doing. I'm in the description also with my Instagram name. So if you guys want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, just go ahead and give me a follow. I think I have about one follower on Twitter, which I don't know, it's just a random person. But uh, if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, get updates when I upload videos. I'll put small clips of me uh, reacting to certain things. And you guys will just be updated. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get straight into it. I haven't listened to Lana. Actually, for a while, you know, it's kind of been a minute since I listened to Lana Del Rey. I don't want to keep you guys waiting. Um, and I don't want to wait as well because I haven't heard her lovely voice in a long time. And it's really, it's, it's really been a while. Lana Del Rey, Pawn Shop Blues. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. Three, two, one. Okay, you got an acoustic guitar going already. Oh, her voice sounds so amazing. Especially on her older tracks, her voice sounds so different. For some reason, a lot of her older tracks and a lot of her unreleased stuff is kind of somewhat better than some of her songs she had. And I know a lot of people can agree on that. Sound, I like the acoustic, it kind of sounds like, it sounds really nice, that style she has going on. With the acoustic and it's her voice. Mmm. I don't mind living on bread and oranges. Ooh. Yo, I like this certain style back, you know, with her unreleased songs. This sounds like it was actually a song off one of her albums, you know, like, I wouldn't say it would feel Born to Die, but it's definitely, you know, a very, very great song. Okay. I like this picture they have of her, too. She looks so beautiful. She was way younger as well, as you can obviously tell. Young Lana Del Rey, like young, young, she's still gorgeous, but she looks very beautiful in this picture. Oh! Sounds so good, man. Just listening to Lana, since I haven't listened to her for a while, for about two or three weeks, and her voice, if I don't listen to Lana Del Rey for a while, it kinda, I kind of feel bad because her music is really good and it really sets me in that mood sometimes. I'm really listening to her, what she's saying too. Her voice sounds so like, it sounds like, not like how it sounds now, but obviously because she's younger, but she sounds like a little, a little girl, which is, which is something that I really love, but it kind of sounds like that, that certain style she has. That was it for Pawn Shop Blues. You guys know, when it comes to Lana Del Rey, I have an obsession for her. A lot of people say, um, I always get this question, you know, I like, I, I feel like as, as a, as a person that I'm very obsessed with her, but you know, that, that's, that's just something, you know, I think any regular person who listens to Lana Del Rey will become, because when I first listened to her, I, I wouldn't realize that in the future, I would start a, a reaction channel and do all these things, you know? Awesome, too, that Lana Del Rey is, like, one of the biggest things a part of my YouTube channel, so people always ask, are you always going to continue? Definitely. And I, uh, after listening to the song, I definitely want to start a series um, officially uh, for unreleased songs. So if any unreleased song suggestions from Lana Del Rey, make sure to leave them in the comments down below so I can go ahead and check those out. But um, old Lana Del Rey, or should I say Elizabeth, younger Elizabeth, obviously, when she was younger. I'm going to go and say Elizabeth because I, it sounds weird saying Lana Del Rey. But um, the younger Elizabeth, you can tell, um, you know, it, I, I wouldn't expect her to talk about things that she talks about now, but you know... As an artist, when you grow on a certain level and you become this mainstream, more out there artist, it's it's better when you have a lot of people to hear your message. And, um, you know, this was a, a very good song from Lana Del Rey, and I really did like this track, you know? And I really did like the way her voice sounded for some reason. It had this, not this little girlish feeling, but it kind of had it in some sense, you know? Um, and her voice was amazing. Her voice has always been amazing ever since I started listening to her. So, going back to her older stuff and her unreleased tracks really wasn't anything new to me because... When I listen to Lana, I mean, it's, I shouldn't expect as much because she's this great musician. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction. I'll be coming up with some more for the day. As I said, guys, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I will leave both of them in the description down below. But uh, this is it for Lana Del Rey, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this reaction. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Watching this video, and I'll see you for the next one. Peace out.